everyone's been grafted. Everyone who came with me. They crossed the sea for me. They fought for me. <laughs> Only to have their arms taken. Their legs taken. Even their heads taken. Taken and stuck to the spider. Did you know? If you're grafted by the spider, you become a chrysalid. It's quite a lark when you think about it. You're all on your own, are you? And heading to Stormvale Castle. Enticed by the one in the white mask, I suppose. Oh, you've come to be one with the spider? Well, that makes us two peas in a pod. But I don't have your courage. It's scary, you know, having your arms cut off. Or legs. Or your head. I want to be like everyone else, but I'm just too scared. I'm nothing but a craven. Oh, I know. Can you take this little one along with you? The poor thing deserves someone braver than myself. And the spirits look rather fondly upon you. It will be glad of your company, I think, the little one. It was a pleasure to see you. Oh, can you pass on a message for me? If you see the little chrysalids in Stormvale Castle, Tell them I love them, and that, despite my craven heart, I'm sure I'll be joining their club soon enough. I'm finally getting the hang of this whole pain thing, you know? to see you. Did you give the little chrysalids the message that I love them and that despite my craven heart, I'm sure I'll be joining their club soon enough. What's this? A keepsake? Oh my men. Oh, goodness me. I can't.
believed in me. They all thought I'd make something of myself, me. Who can't do anything. I think I'll head to the round table hold. Perhaps I'll find my purpose there. Greetings. Nice to see you again. My name is Roderica. I should have told you sooner. Isn't this place impressive though? The round table hold. Covert quarters of the two fingers. And gathering place of champions who vie to become Elden Lord. I never knew the guidance bestowed upon us tarnished had such fantastic roots. Although... It's all a bit much for me, in truth. I'm still looking for my own purpose. Oh, and please allow me to express my thanks for giving me that keepsake from my men. It was as if I was frozen with self-pity. I failed them at every turn. You have my gratitude. Please, take this. for me, in truth. I'm still looking for my own purpose. You're telling me I possess some kind of gift? I don't believe you. But if I do have this talent, and goodness knows it would be my first, I suppose I should try to hone it, shouldn't I? I'll ask Master Hugh to teach me. Certainly, he does appear intimidating and holds no love for us tarnished. But I know he's trapped here at the round table hold. So, I can tell. He's a gentle soul underneath it all. Back already. No matter. Lay out your arms. The girl. What about her? Are you out of your mind? Who'd stay with an ugly brute who only knows how to smith? Absurd. Besides, she'd never agree to it. I refuse to believe it. I don't doubt you, but I know when something's too good to be true. Good to see you again. Thank you very much. I have you to thank, don't I? For persuading Master Hugh. I can happily announce that he has taught me the noble toil of spirit tuning. I'm as yet unsure of what I might be able to accomplish. But if I might be able to help you all, I'd certainly like to try. And if there's any chance to ease the suffering of my dear men who were grafted, well, I certainly must try. 
Roderica, the spirit tune apprentice. Pleased to make your acquaintance. <laughs>